Hello. Please allow me to have a few moments of your precious time. I will make use of this time to tell you about a number of facts I've learned over the years. You, you may doubt my confidence to consider my life experience as one worthy of telling, but uh, I hope you won't. I hope you take advantage of this opportunity and listen to me while I'm listening to myself addressing you. So, uh, in fact, this is a request for mutual attention. Thank you. What do you and I have in common? What do any two people have in common? One of the things we share is our wish to succeed. We all want success. Don't we? We want to win. And how do we win? What is essential for winning? The first thing we need in order to win is another person. Each and every one of us needs somebody. Is there anyone who doesn't need somebody? I need you. And I would like us to get used to allowing ourselves to be needy. Don't be ashamed of this need, the need to win. I want you to understand that if we didn't desire to win, we wouldn't make any progress at all. We would accomplish nothing, learn nothing, and we would never lose. Yes, that's right. As important as it is for us to win, it is no less important for us to lose. We, we need to realize that from every loss we profit. Did you ever think of the word profit? Has the proximity between the words profit and profit ever occurred to you? A prophet is a person who can see the future. A prophet is the only person who could tell us if we'll win or lose. A prophet foresees the profit, the victory. We all wish we could be prophets, just as we all want to make profits. But sometimes we fail. Our failures transform us. It is through them we discover what is it that we truly desire. Failures shape our future and we have to take advantage of our thoughts and move on to continue aspiring to. Aspire. Fill your lungs with fresh air. This is one of the most basic actions of our body. Sometimes our body is smarter than we. We can learn from its logic. If the body needs this aspiration fundamentally, if our body needs to have something, then to let go of it, we need to do that too. Inhale, exhale. You know what? Even when we're asleep, even then, when we think that for a fraction of a moment we're finally all on our own, another machine begins to work, the machine of our dreams. And guess what? In dreamland we also need others. Who is the director of our dreams? Who leads the story? We do. Of course we are the directors of our own dream. Then once again, this time in the deepest realm of our souls, we need and use others. We we'll wake up. Good morning. We want to go on directing our life. In other words, to go on winning, leading, conducting an orchestra, influencing an audience, giving life to our fantasy. And again, we need Mass people that will 
Original, I know I am, and I choose to share my originality with you. I offer you an opportunity to make the change. 